And here's what I'm finding. So how do you prioritize things? I, I've said it before, but I want to say it again. Deferred maintenance is not making an improvement to your home. Yeah. It's taking care of deck rot that might ruin a sale mm -hmm. and that may ruin an inspection. Take care of the rot. Take care of the deferred maintenance. Exterior Replace paint. the roof that's 30 years old that's, that needs to be replaced because the buyer can't get insurance. Yeah. Those are called maintenance things. That's not making improvements to sell the home necessarily as much as taking care of the deferred maintenance to open the audience wide to buyers who otherwise their inspection or their insurance may not cover the home. Yeah, I have a roof right now. It's over 20 years old. Yeah. It was the original roof on the house. Gorgeous five acre property, house, beautiful, you know, tons of hail damage on the roof. So we're stuck waiting for the insurance company to see if they're going to pay. Yes. Well, what people don't realize is, you know, there's on insurance, some insurance policies, you know, after 10 years, they're taken back, but you might not get a full roof replacement. And they've changed their ways now to where if a claim isn't made within six months or a year of the hail damage, they yeah. don't pay. So I ran into this you on a... You might be stuck without paying for it yourself, basically. Uh, I you just had long. it happen just had it happen on a home where there was a lot of hail damage all over this house not just the roof but stucco and everything yeah and unfortunately it wasn't covered because the hail happened two years ago in that neighborhood right and so then those people are stuck with like astronomical costs and the buyers don't want to take that over so you're really they can't stuck and like you said a lot of times they can't get insurance